Good morning, everybody. My name is Valerie, and it's great to kick off the day with you. Last weekend, we talked about grace, the compelling, unexpected, transforming grace of God. And today I want to share with you one of my favorite grace verses. It's from the book of Hebrews, which is actually one of my favorite books of the Bible. Hebrews 4, 15 through 16 say, For we do not have a high priest, and the previous verse tells us that Jesus is our high priest. We do not have a high priest who's unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet without sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. We're going to spend this whole Christmas season reminding ourselves that the baby Jesus we celebrate is God with us. It's so amazing. We can't possibly fully wrap our minds around this, but the eternal God became one of us. He gets us. Wow, that is amazing. I mean, just think about a weakness or a temptation you're dealing right now with in your life. God understands. He's able to empathize with us, but because he's God and without sin, he's also able to show us the way through. I know we can tend to think, oh, or I can at least, tend to think I need to get it together before I ask for help or at least try, at least show God I'm trying. But this verse tells us, no, you don't have to wait. And in fact, you don't even have to skulk in with your head down. Because of Jesus, the amazing grace offered in Jesus' birth, death, and resurrection, you can run into the throne room of God. You can run to God and you will be met with mercy. You will be met with grace. It's so good. It's overwhelming almost that a holy God would let us run to him and then instead of pointing his finger at us would lavish grace and mercy on us. Whatever you're facing this morning that has you feeling weak, has you feeling shame or worry, feeling overwhelmed, feeling drained, run, don't walk into the throne room of God. Leave those burdens there. Take on the mercy and grace. Ask God to give you courage to leave that struggle at his throne and the faith to then walk out in the grace and the mercy that he offers you today. I hope your day goes well, and I'm sure looking forward to seeing you at church this weekend.